boys and girls of ARCA are set to rock your socks off today with the advanced discount auto parts 200 at the World Center of Speed. So let's not waste any more time and get trackside with Ray Dunlop. Well, thank you, Bob. You know, we've got a really great field of cars here for today's race. Whenever you look at the front row, though, you got to talk about Kyle Busch. One year ago in this series, Kyle Busch won two races. But here's the objective at Hendrick Motorsports, win the pole, lead every lap, and win the race. Well, Kyle Busch is going to have to settle for just two of those three things today because he will start second today at Daytona. But that's a pretty good number at this racetrack. Actually, it's the best. Second place has won at this track nine different times. But he did not win the pole because that went to the number five of Bobby Gerhardt. Gerhardt in the Lucas Oil Chevrolet has been great at this racetrack. Matter of fact, he may put more effort into this one race than any other team. With two victories at Daytona and one at Talladega, Bobby Gerhardt is Arca's Mr. Restrictor Plate. But guess what? In the last 25 races here at Daytona, the pole winner has only won two times. With five series championships on his ARCA Remax resume and well over 7,000 laps led, Frank Kimmel is without question king of the hill here in ARCAville. He's won everywhere, everywhere except the crown jewel Daytona. Frank Kimmel, what's it going to take to change all that? Well, uh, hopefully uh, this advance on the parts Ford Taurus has got enough to do it today. Uh, you know, I, I tell you what, Don, this is all about racetrack and uh, race car here in the uh, you know, we just haven't brought the best race cars here lately, but uh, this weekend we've had a very, very good race car all weekend. Uh, get in line with these young kids. Bobby's going to lead the way, and we're just going to see what we come up with at the end. Billy Venturini started last year's race here at Daytona on the outside pole. This year he starts 35th because his qualifying time was disallowed. Billy, starting so deep in the pack, how much patience does it take you to get up front? Well, I guess it's going to dictate on what kind of people I have pushing me or who, who I'm following. But uh, I think this race car is going to get to the front in a pretty good hurry. Uh, it's been pretty fast all week, and, uh, you know, it's the sixth fastest car in qualifying. And uh, hopefully it won't take a whole bunch of time. Uh, but the, uh, the crowd's going to be a heck of a show, hopefully. Petrini's mission, get up front, do it fast. Now back to you guys upstairs. Well, thanks, Lindsay. I'm Bob Dillner. Alongside of me, Winston Cup veteran, now Nextel Cup Next star. star. That's right, Nextel Next Cup star, Kenny Schrader. And, Kenny, we got a lot of stories to follow today, so how about we cut right to the chase? Well, let's get going. There are a lot of them. There are. The Young and the Restless, we're calling in here. A lot of young kids. And check out this, 18 years old, Kyle Busch on the outside pole. But what I think is impressive is all the kids, 25 and younger, in the top 15. Well, most definitely, you know, those, uh, those owners look for those young kids because they know they are the future. Still got a lot of good veterans in here, and we got a couple females in here that are going to run good today. That's right, we do. Some of the older dudes in the field, Frank Kimmel, the five-time champ, and pole sitter Bobby Gerhardt. Of course, you know Greg Sachs used to run with him for a long, long time in the Winston Cup series. Farmer Winston Cup winner. That's right, exactly. Daryl Basham will round out the field here today, but a lot of these guys know how to get the job done. Well, they, they really do, and a lot of them have been here for a number of years. You know, that, that Frank Kimmel story is just like, kind of like Dale Earnhardt Sr. here. He's only going to win all those races and go so long without winning a race here. But looking at those ages, I don't think those guys were that old. Exactly. And take a look at these two hot ladies, Kim Crosby in today's field and Christy Passmore. And she has really turned a lot of heads here in ARCA competition. We're getting set for the green flag next here at Daytona on Speed. Daytona, and we're going to go right 
right to the REMAX starting grid. A contrast of ages, as we told you, Bobby Gerhardt and Kyle Busch on the front row. But I think the guy you got to look at is Paul Menard there. He won the October Talladega ARCA race, and he's looking pretty good. Clint Boyer there, the RCR prodigy. He will be running some Busch races this year in the 21 car. Ryan Hemphill and A.J. Hendrickson, a really hot shot type of kid out of the late model ranks of the Southeast. Brent Sherman, a championship contender, and Mike Langston right there. But the girl I want to talk about, Christy Passmore. Last year, she turned a lot of heads in the Arkham Remax. Uh, she ran fifth in the fall race at uh, Talladega last year, solid top ten uh, in points last year at all the tracks, so she is definitely one to be reckoned with. And of course, she's in the Bob Shacks car, and that's always a good car in the Arkham Remax series. Greg Sachs as you said, he knows how to win here at Daytona. Kim Crosby, one of the girls, and A.J. Fike, a USAC midget star in today's field, running for Rookie of the Year. T.J. Bell and Brack Maggard, part of the Andy Belmont stables here in the ARCA Remax Series. Wayne Anderson, he's a two-time NASCAR Southeast champion. And Larry Hollenbeck. Jeff Kendall, another one of those NASCAR touring guys out of the Midwest Series. And Mark Gibson, he knows how to get the job done. A four-time winner here in the ARCA Remax Series. Andy Hillenberg. I think he's done well in one of your cars here, uh, Kenny. He won, he won for us this uh, won this race for us several years ago and also won the championship as a car owner. So uh, A.J. Fike can draw a lot of experience there. Row 16, Jason Jarrett. Want to talk about him? He qualified really poorly, Kenny. They've been struggling getting that car up to speed, but he is an experienced driver and knows how to draft, and he will be able to draft his way up towards the front pretty easy. And you know Billy Venturini will be making his way to the front, too. Well, uh, I would say say that uh, Jarrett will be waiting for Venturini to come and then be latching on. David Reagan, 18 years old, also in today's field. Daryl Basham and rounding out the field, Todd Bowser, one of the regulars here, dynamite dude in the number 21 car. 